So I am going to show you how to use uh, Sign Up Genius in order to create a sign up where small groups of students can uh, sign up to attend a Zoom meeting. So Sign Up Genius is at signupgenius.com. You need to create an account, and once you have, then you can get in and you can create and view signups that you've already created. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create a sign up by going up to the button that says create a sign up. And once I click on that, it will take me to a page where I will start the process of creating a sign up. I am going to call it a small group Zoom meeting sign up and it's going to be for section 6.4. So I'm gonna put 6.4 in there. And then I'm gonna select a group and I could uh, do the plus here to create a new group, but I'm going to choose a group I already created called McLeod Remote Teaching and Learning. Um, I'm going to choose a theme down below. You've got these choices. You can uh, choose a, a custom picture, um, but I'm just gonna go with uh, something simple. So I'll just give you a sense of the kinds of themes that you can have. And I'm gonna go with uh, this one right here. So it says book fair library, but it's got a picture of a book and it looks like some exciting stuff is coming out of the book. So that seems appropriate for school to me. So I'll click save and continue. And now I'm going to uh, choose at the beginning to sort by date. Uh, and you can sort of play around with these and experiment to see which ones would work best for you. But for my purposes right now, I'm going to do it by date. So I'm going to add dates and I'm going to start on April 6th. That's Monday. And uh, the way I've set up my schedule is I've got a couple of slots each day for each of my sections where I want to have a small group. Um, so for uh, my sections, 6-3 is meeting or a small group will be meeting from 10 to 10.30. And a small group from 6-3 will also be meeting from 1 to 1.30. Um, but 6-4 has 11. And 11 to 11.30. So I'll just plug in 11 and 11.30. And the location name, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put the address to my personal meeting room on Zoom. So I went on my Zoom profile page and I just got this uh, link for my personal meeting room. So there is the address that I'm putting in. So the location will be in that personal meeting room. And then I'm going to add another time slot on this date because like I said, I've got uh, two slots that I want 6-4 to be able to pick, choose from on that day. So the other one that I'm going to have them choose between is 1.45 p.m. This is a bit of a pain in the neck changing from a.m. to p.m. But it's just one of those things uh, to 2.15 p.m. So I'll change it to PM. And once again, I'll put in that same location by going control V and I've got my uh, URL on my clipboard. So now I scroll down and I'm going to add those two uh, dates and times. I'm also uh, going to have dates available on the next day or times I should say available on the Tuesday. So Tuesday the 7th, and 6-4 uh, is going to be meeting, I'm just switching them back and forth. So they're going to meet from 10 to 10.30 that day, whereas uh, that was 6-3 meeting at that time on uh, the day before. And then I'm going to add another time slot on this date. And so this time 6-4 is going to meet from 1 to 1.30 as opposed to 1.45 to uh, 2.15. So 1, once again, change it to p.m to 1.30 p.m. And the location name is once again my uh, link to my personal meeting room on Zoom. So then I'll go add and uh, since I'm doing it like five students per uh, group, I need to have a total of five. So right now section 6.4 has got four. So I need to have one more on the next day and 6.3 has got one more on that day as well. So the one that I'm choosing for 6.4 on the Wednesday, Wednesday the 8th, 
is from 1 o'clock p.m. to 1.30 p.m. on Wednesday, and then I'll click Add to add that. And now I've got five uh, slots, except I forgot to add a location name. So I'll just click the pencil to edit, and then I will add the location name to that. And so now uh, the location name is right there as a hyperlink if the students need to uh, click on that to get into it. And I'm gonna go down to the next stage. So the next stage, I'll save and continue. And I need to add slots. Can't believe I forgot to add slots because that was the whole point of this. So I am going to add slots to my uh, each of those periods. And I said I was gonna have five students per slot. So I'm gonna go bulk slots. And I am going to call them student participants. And then I am going to give five slots on all dates and save. So now each uh, slot or each time period has room for five students. And if I was doing it just uh, for one, then I could just make it one slot per that uh, time period. And then I would have a private meeting. Now I go save and continue, and uh, I am going to save and, and continue down at the bottom again. Um, I'm okay with people swapping slots with each other. I'm not exactly sure how that works from uh, their perspective, but it might give them uh, an opportunity to send a message or something like that. But right now what I want to do is I want to publish it. So I click publish. And now I've got a link. So you could add in some, like create a group and share on social media and invite by email and all that kind of thing. But I'd rather just uh, click on this link, uh, go to the actual uh, sign up, and then uh, get this link and send it out to my students. Or if I was sending this out to parents, I could send it to parents. And that is how you use Sign Up Genius to make yourself a sign up for students to sign up for small group Zoom meetings.